Welcome back, and big news is this week that we have now surpassed 400 deposits. So that's a pretty nice milestone for us, and we're well on track to have 500 by the time Oshkosh comes around. So very happy about that. Uh, anyway, so back to what's going on in the shop. So this week, uh, guys were working on the overhead console here, getting the um, the wax profile put on there and getting it all waxed up so that one's ready for a mold. And because of the amount of work it was taking to clean that wax profile out of a finished mold, we've actually um, ordered some um, silicon profile to see how that works. And here we are back on the uh, on the main spar and just finishing off the swarfing cuts on the second half of that. So that was, this was back on Wednesday. And it came out fine. We didn't have any problems there. Just um, obviously needs the sanding and that sort of stuff. But you'll see here shortly that that all got done. So here you can see using the three quarter inch uh, ball mill here and, and again four passes um, up and back on this um, what is essentially that side I believe there is the top side of the spar cap. And so you see with the ball mill runs up there doing a pretty nice job. And uh, really wasn't any big problems with um, doing this part. I mean, 16 foot long, you've got to move it around, but other than that, it came out fine. So here you can see it's doing the last pass and it's down, you know, on the fourth run there and it's it's right in the corner now. And so it's uh, putting a nice radius in there for us, which makes it easier when we're creating the part to have a bit of a curvature in there because the, um, the carbon uh, fabric will go better around a corner than it will around a complete 90 degree turn. So there it is uh, all off the machine and sprayed up with a guide coat. And again, we just spray it with it sort of lightly with a pink guide coat. And then when you're sanding it off, you can see where it uh, still needs more sanding. So this is a uh, part ways along here with um, Zach and Mark doing some sanding on that. And uh, Devin there just spraying off all the, all the dust from that. And there's Mark hard at, hard at work. <laughs> Wasn't too happy with it being such a big part, but I told him it was real easy because it's flat surfaces. And uh, here we are back on the machine with the uh, rear um, pressure bulkhead with that adjustment that we we're making after changing the, the, or creating that new simplified aft bulkhead. And it didn't take long just to remill that. And it'll be much easier, easier for us now to create the mold for that and also to create the part when it comes time so there you can see it's all sort of milled off and then of course that needs some sanding uh, to get that completed. And now here the guys are creating a stand for the uh, mold for the forward bulkhead. And so it's just some foam, um, again, similar to what we've done in the past and some carbon fiber around that uh, just to attach it to the actual mold itself. Now here you can see a little bit further along and, and we put two layers of the uh, heavy um, carbon fabric that we have on that and ultimately the foam doesn't even need to exist after that and if it if this um, gets this mold gets used for a high temp mold in an oven that foam will just melt away and you'll just be left with a framework there so there that's all done and just a little bit of peel ply on where the overlaps were just to make sure there's no sharp edges coming out of that um, when it's done so it doesn't even need really any sanding or anything like that on those edges to take them off and so next up, I had to create the core for um, the actual part for that um, forward bulkhead. So the, the front wall of it has a one inch thick core in it. So here we're actually putting some um, Divinacell one inch core in, on the machine and cutting out the pieces that make up the various faces um, of that forward bulkhead. And so obviously I've sped this up so you can see what's going on. But yeah, it's cutting out these main pieces. And ultimately, we may end up simplifying that forward bulkhead in the future. Um, you know, when I designed it, I didn't realize how much it would be better if it was just completely flat. So various reasons made me um, put different facets in it. And uh, it's just sort of complicating the issue. But for the prototype, we're going to go with what we have here and maybe we'll change it uh, for customer aircraft going forward and just simplify it a little bit. So there you can see all the pieces cut out and of course the machine moved there a little bit so I had to go and grab it and, and redo it but not a big deal and there they are sort of laid out and so there'll be you know layers of carbon fiber then the core will go in and then more layers of carbon fiber then it will be vacuumed in there 
So this is the first part part that we're going to do uh, next week. And um, then after that, we'll be going for the fuselage. And here you can see the guys um, are putting um, some more wax on the actual mould for the fuselage, getting that uh, prepped. Possibly by the end of next week, we may be able to do that. We've pretty much got everything ready for that. Just got to do a little bit more trim work on that core that we had from before. But other than that, it's uh, pretty much ready. And there you can see the finished product all waxed and ready to go. So pretty happy with that. It'd be nice to, to get that one done and sit it in the jig and then we'll be able to mate it up with the forward bulkhead and we'll have sort of two parts there coming together initially. So we received the new diamond centered cutting uh, blades that we had ordered. And uh, as you can see here, they make quick work of cutting this carbon fiber. So this is Jeff uh, just trimming off that um, the rough edge there on the forward bulkhead mold and those blades just go through that like butter compared to the one that we were using before which uh, was for for cutting tile and it just you know took forever so that's uh, that was you know a good thing to speed things up and then that had a quick sanding as well mark did that and finished those ed edges off and here are the floor brace molds that have uh, mark actually trimmed these with the with a new blade and um, they still need to be sanded yet but um everything's sort of coming out well yeah you can see sanding one of them there just with the with the belt sander so those will be ready to lay up um, parts here pretty shortly as well and lastly here's another update from our structural engineer mark who's working on the engine mount uh, design so here you can see he's come a little further simplified it some more and this is just the lower part of it and we've decided to uh, create an engine stand, which we were going to do anyway, but we're going to make it so it completely mocks up the exact firewall situation that we have in the aircraft. And that way we'll be able to um, set everything up on the stand just like it's uh, in the aircraft and get it all tested and fit and everything like that. And then when it's all done, we'll just be able to move the, um, the, the engine over to the actual aircraft and mount it up to a, a similar firewall. Anyway, that's our update for this week. Thanks for watching.